my goodness, it's Friday. It is. <laughs> we have a great show for you today. Uh, Del Taco is here. You can yeah, smell it. Yeah, I can smell it as I entered the building. <laughs> I'm like, really? I haven't even had breakfast yet, so I'm starving. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty so excited. I'm excited for these guys here. And they had Santa Claus at their shop a, a couple weeks ago. At the new and store? Yeah, they have a brand new store over at Kimball Junction, and they were nice enough to come in and share uh, some of their menu items with us. And, and I hear they brought a lot. So and this time when I say for real, if you want to stop by and have a bite, <laughs> you really can. I'm pretty sure they will be. Yeah, we, come on. Uh, yeah, can you join us? So the, but fun. that's at the end of, of the next hour. But anyway, they're going to be sticking around for these uh, two hours of the show. We have uh, Paul Hitzelberger with us and then Carl, who's going to be making up some great food. And uh, so big thanks to those guys. So, uh, But before we get to that, we do have Charlie Sturgis on the show with Mountain Trails to give us some updates on how things Welcome back to the show. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells phenomenal in this building. I say building because when I walked in, I was telling you guys I could smell all this amazing food as I was walking upstairs. I've had to wait about 45 minutes to try some, and I still can't yet because we're going to make, you're going to teach me how to make a burrito. And I have with me some folks from Del Taco, the president and CEO. I have Paul Hitzelberger with me, and then Carl, who, to Carl Thompson, who will be showing us how the magic works. So I'm so thrilled to have you here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to have you here. You've been here before. Thank you. Uh, with National Ability Center, which we will talk yes. about shortly. Uh, but first off, what makes Del Taco unique? You know, you, know, you just put your new store over by Kimball Junction. Yes. What's unique about it? You know, the key for us is fresh and value. Mm -hmm. And uh, for 48 years now, that's been our focus. We haven't, we haven't changed our recipes uh, going way back. Uh, and and our, our focus is for the family, for the individual, on the go. Every day park because we're open 24 hours, mm -hmm. seven days a week. Which is crazy. I had no idea you guys were open that long. You've got some dedicated employees there. Well, the thing that's great about Mexican is it's, it's a great taste at different day parts. It can be lunch, snack, dinner, late night. Because you have breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh. Breakfast. And, you know, we don't have breakfast here today. We maybe can do that sometime <laughs> in the we future. We are used to eating lunch and dinner during our breakfast time. Okay. So you guys are good. <laughs> All right. Because we do our eggs omelet style on the grill. Nice. And, and uh, fresh. So. Excellent. Well, Paul, tell me a little bit about your background. I mean, uh, Del Taco is kind of a family affair. It's been going on with your family for quite a while. Tell me yes. about uh, your history with the company. Well, I've, uh, I've been with Del Taco 27 years, <laughs> and uh, I was at the corporate level, uh, one of the owners of the 545 restaurants, and I retired in 2001 mm -hmm. to, uh, to come to U Utah. Jane and I uh, were married 46 years and, wow. and we're uh, uh, partners together mm -hmm. in, uh, in this venture. And so I've been with food. You know, if you look at the size of me, I love food. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so. I have to say, I know you're 6'7". Barbara Caruso was telling me who we've been working with with this, but I'm like, I better wear my tall heels or else I'm going to be pretty short. So <laughs> I made sure I did so I could almost be eye level with Paul, but I think it still is kind of far away. But, but anyway. our, our, fam <laughs> our family's involved with the business. So we have great, a great team and uh, we have over mm -hmm. 700 employees and 26 restaurants throughout the state. Wow. And uh, Park City is number 26. So That's amazing. And congratulations. You had Santa Claus there a couple of weekends ago, I know. Yes. And uh, we're, you have some more fun stuff coming up that we're going to share in a minute. Okay. But let's uh, go to Carl and talk about what we've got here. You guys, did you bring like everything from your <laughs> Del Taco bar? You have pretty much every ingredient here. Tell me what's uh, on the table this morning. We did. We brought a large selection so we can uh, make just about anything we make on the menu wow. uh, we've got our fresh grilled chicken Up there the uh, front. It, and it's marinated in citrus juices and herbs Ooh. and we grill that uh, just about every hour um, a little bit more so often fresh. during the during the rushes we're always cooking uh, we've got our steak and uh, one of our feature items right now is our shredded beef Ooh, I uh, love shredded beef. is That's special on favorite. burritos and our uh, El Carbone tacos right now nice. and then we've got a couple of sauces and also our fresh made beans we do them absolutely fresh from dry beans boil them down every few hours with our special seasoning Excellent. And, uh, and no we lard. brought a no lard no at lard. all. No <laughs> lard at all. And we brought a selection of toppings. 
And what we're going to do today is teach you how to make a burrito so it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Did you know that I'm bad at making burritos? Because I heard a rumor. Okay. Because this is really going to be helpful to me. And he was teaching me a couple of tips. He knew I need to learn this twice. So he already taught me some things, but we're going to reteach all of us right now. So, Carl, let's have you step here in the middle okay. so that you have better access to everything. Uh, do a demo for us first. Um, okay. What was the first step? I'm going to make you one of our classic chicken burritos, which is one of our biggest sellers on the menu. Okay. Biggest key on the tortillas when you get going is make sure they're warmed up. Mm -hmm. We use a 350 degree temperature grill to warm them up um, so, that, so that they're not dry and you can move them around. And we're going to throw a little bit of the fresh chicken on there. And then, uh, as I told you earlier, we have our secret sauce. You guys, look at sauce. this. See how it's labeled? I don't know if you can see that. The secret sauce. I love that. That's so funny. So you can't tell me anything that's in here? I can't, but uh, there is there is a person in the building that's directly responsible for this recipe, so you'd have to go to him about that. Oh, my gosh. Paul I might have to this. go up. Okay. Well, well, I'm excited to try this. So this goes on second, then? Yep. We're going to put that right on top. Okay, you want me to do, do the it. first one? I'll do mine. You, it's I'll just let you a do squeeze this. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we're going to throw some cheese right on top of that. And our lettuce, and then some diced tomatoes. And now the secret. Okay, guys, pay attention. We have a four step process. All right. We do our first fold, which goes over the bottom of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We do our next fold, which goes over the top. Then we do a tuck. The okay, tuck is what holds that's it. That's the big part. That, that's the important. If you, if you miss out on that, you're done. You're done. Yeah. It'll come apart. You're fired. On you. <laughs> and then we roll it over. We fold it over one more time. Bravo. <laughs> Yes. And that'll hold your burrito all together. Nice. It won't fall out the bottom. Excellent. And I have to know, yes. Paul, do, do the, is this like a test uh, that the employees have to go through? So that they That's, <laughs> there's a certification that really? they go through. Really? they got to uh, get training. that tucked down. Uh, fold, fold, tuck, and roll. Well, we'll see if you might hire me. So let's have me try this out. All see right. If I can pass the test. We'll move your tortilla over. Okay. And what should I make? Uh, what would you like to make? Oh, I've got I'm beans. Sure. I've got shredded beef. Let's, I'm going to try the one you just did with the chicken. Let's do the chicken. Okay. So we got our chicken in there. Can I throw in here whatever? Can I put some Absolutely. of this in there? Absolutely. Okay. That's oh, guacamole. Lover. Can I put the secret sauce on first? Absolutely. Pull it out from the. Okay. And I have to know uh, from both of you guys, Carl and Paul, what's your favorite thing on the menu? You first. Uh, actually, classic chicken or our chicken soft taco is my favorite. Oh yeah. It is. Paul. Well, I enjoy that, that too. It's like a chicken sandwich wrapped in a tortilla. It's like Ooh. your mom made it. It's, oh, it's a very I fresh like taste. Excellent. And, and uh, that cheese we grate right, right fresh in the, in the restaurant from 40 pound blocks. So I enjoy that item. You know, I kind of do a little surfing, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, some days I like the macho burrito, um, the macho combo burrito. It's over, it's over a pound of food, uh -huh. and and that can take care of my day. Actually, nice. Those are my favorite meals. Like you could eat it and then you can like save it for the rest of the day. I have done that before. There's so, another one. The, oh, the another. Fish talk, the fish taco. I love fish tacos. Those are my favorite to try wherever I go. Fish tacos. You got to have that. And we've got the cabbage. It's very authentic with uh -huh. the corn tortillas and the pico de gallo and, and again again the uh, secret sauce so I don't know what this was supposed to be originally but well, you it's know, different now <laughs> the neat thing about del taco and we have a selection of the items is you can we have our set menu but you can personalize it to you nice. you can take off anything you can add anything it's very simple for our people to do that for you awesome well okay, I'm gonna start ready? the folding process so, we okay, have so we're gonna bottom. take let's move over this way so it's right in front of you okay <laughs> <laughs> so right, so Carl. use your right hand okay and bring side. that over the top okay. there you go we got that and then tuck in the take bottom. that one over and this is where you make your tuck you tuck Cover all over. this in together like all that. the way over mm -hmm. got it like and I'm then fold one more something. time then over. I'll take this over this way. Oh my gosh. We're going to go like that. <laughs> Even twice. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, there's my taco or my burrito. <laughs> Looks excellent. Oh man. Oh, that smells so good. I am so excited about this. You guys, thanks so much for dropping by. Let's, uh, Paul, I want to hear a little bit more about you got all the different, uh, you have a salsa? Well, we do. The, you got your salsa and chips right there. Yeah, so we do. You know, the cilantro here, we, we take all the, uh, the stems off and we uh, chop the cilantro right mm -hmm. in the restaurant. Uh, we do the, the tomatoes uh, from scratch, uh, sliced and diced, and, 
and uh, prepare the salsa. The chips are done from scratch in the restaurant. The, and this is the, the salsa I mentioned about the, the 40 pound yeah. blocks of cheddar cheese uh -huh. that we it. do uh, fresh in the restaurant. And uh, uh, the, the green sauce here, and you didn't use green sauce, oh. but that's a 48 year old recipe, has not changed in 48 years. Is that also years. kind of secret? Can you tell us what's in there? That's a secret. Okay. We have lots of secrets. You but do. but, um, Which is what makes but, but we're sharing fun. today. We're, we're sharing, Thank you. The, you know, the, especially the fold, fold, The folding roll. secret is a big deal. You do not want a burrito blowout. You don't. No, that's not good. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to try and take a bite here. They're kind of a mouthful for me. I usually take really little bites. That is a good burrito. I love those ingredients. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Well, we are going to have Joe step in with you guys in the second hour. Before we get to that, I want to hear what happened with the National Ability Center. We had uh, a record-breaking fundraising. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not announced it yet. Mm -hmm. The National Ability Center doesn't know the number, but it was record-breaking. And it'll put us at over $120,000 in, in contribution amazing. to them. Uh, that's kind of part of our personality as a company. We want to be great neighbors mm -hmm. and do the right thing. Well, you're involved with the National Ability Center and the, the Peace House. And the Peace right. House, the Women's uh, Ski Jump Association, mm -hmm. and their their success. And they came out for the lunch Olympics. the other day? Yes, we had the entire team uh, at, at our restaurant. Uh, really, really neat group of ladies and, oh, and doing well. So. Um, we, the National Guard, the kids of the National Guard, wounded warriors, those things that, that we can give back because uh, our guests have been so great to us. That's we just fantastic. want to do whatever we can. Mm -hmm. Well, and I want to know too, so what's next for Del Taco and, and the Hitzel Burgers? What's next on the list for you guys? Well, um, more restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, the initial plan is to add another 11 restaurants in the, in the state. That'll take us to 37. And then um, we're going with our new look at, at, uh, at the Park City location. We've gotten all excited because the guests are excited mm -hmm. and the green lighting, uh, 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 Rocky Mountain Power is happy with that. Nice. Uh, is that we're gonna go back to our other restaurants and we're gonna be doing a, uh, um, we, we're calling it an ambiance shakeup, you know, <laughs> uh, where, I like it. where we're taking those elements and, and bringing them back into the, uh, the rest of our restaurants in the state. All right. So. Well, very good. Uh, just a quick shout out. You guys have a SpongeBob on the menu. Yes, we do. Not to eat, just to look at. He's coming T tomorrow. Yeah. Take a look at that. Noon to three. Excellent. Uh, at the Park City location. Can SpongeBob eat, eat burritos and tacos? Do you think? Because um, he's from the ocean. I don't know. Maybe he gets. This might we'll be his talk first to him. exposure we'll talk to, to him. it. Yes. His we'll first taste of tacos. Very cool. All right. Well, we're talking more about Del Taco coming up in the next hour. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Great to thank have you. you on the show. I'm thank so excited you, Chelsea. to have you here for two hours. That's awesome. So thanks so much. We'll be right back here with more to end out the hour. Stay tuned for more.